Hello everybody, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Dishonored. I should have used his heart on this guy. The Lord Regent resides here, as do those who await their turn with the Executioner, though the requirements to differ. Well, I, I guess uh, that ship has sailed. He walks the floor, careful to touch each stone only once, counting. He cannot purge his mind of the thoughts. Dunwall Tower is not so tall that it can rise above the stench of death. We have both been here before. I'm wondering what's going on with this heart. <laughs> I have questions. The thinkers of the city. They devise new ways to detain the elements. If the plague were to take the entire city, or flames consume it, Dunwall Tower would be the last to fall. That was uh, a little bit too close. We'll just go ahead and deal with you real quick, I think. I didn't realize people were going to actually come into this bathroom, so... Uh, for one, I'm glad that I didn't catch him pooping. <laughs> it would have been awkward. And two... Mm, better. Um... Oof. Sorry about your head there, buddy. <laughs> Especially since he's a bit of an old guy. Um, yeah, and two, uh, I'm glad there's nobody, uh, no bodies in there. Because that would have been real bad as well. Now, I do remember taking out a maid in this, uh, in this room, or this area, as well as a guard or two. Don't remember exactly where I put them, um, but they're probably, oh, maybe they haven't. I was going to say, they probably disappeared, but I guess not. Well, that's fine. Um, no, there were like three bodies here, and there were like three in the thing downstairs as well, but I guess no more. Alright, so we got two guards in there to still deal with. Hmm, I wonder if... Maybe I would have a better time going, uh, going up this way instead. Hmm, seems like maybe not. Unless I can go this way to, uh, get the drop on some people through here. Eh, not really. Uh, I kind of want to try this. Yeah, acceptable. Then maybe I can dump his his corpse, or not his corpse, but his uh, his body up here somewhere. Yeah, it kind of works, and I got a bullet as well for uh, for my trouble. So that's something, I guess. I do want to play with that. I think. Let me go ahead and just. Hmm, I thought there was a door here, but I guess not. There's nothing in those, but here we've got some feathers, more bullets, a grenade. Haven't seen one of those in a little bit. Security room key. That sounds good. I'm going to guess that's the security room right there. I don't want to actually kill any of these guys. If I can uh, avoid it here. What is this? A book. Weapon ID and handling. Uh, excerpt from notes by Dr. Galvani on proper procedure for handling those infected with the plague. Uh, once a victim leaves from, oh no, I think, on oh a no, weeper identification. I misread that. I've read this uh, already. I, I'm pretty confident. Uh, okay. Security room key used. These guys are in a different room. Yes, yes, they are. Will they come this way, though? I don't know. Well, I'm going to at least disable this, which might alert one of those guards to come out here. Seems like not. All right, in that case. Yeah, that's not going to work. 
Not the way that I would like, anyway. Um, I think I've already... Oh, I guess I haven't read this. Uh, looting started in the warehouses once enough men took sick with the plague. The companies had to suspend operations. My husband, Malchus, was with the Mearson Tobacco Leaf Company, which closed last year during the month of clans. He ran the fire boxes at the main curing barn. Um, Malchus always said, uh, flu curing made the sweetest leaf sickness. Hits the tobacco men hardest um, because of all the smoking. Uh, they ran with a small crew for a while, but around the time my husband got sick, the fires were put out and the tobacco sat rotting. Somehow, the thieves knew and started stripping the place. Later, they moved on to houses the bastards. I need this man to cease what he's doing. So I'm going to try something, which is what the void was that? That. And hope he comes in here. Well, he at least moved, so that's better. <laughs> oh, my dear, I miss you so. If only I'd put on a mask and tend to you. <clears throat> uh, I would have loved to listen to that conversation, but taking care of this guy is a little bit more pressing at the uh, moment. Oh, jumped right over that. Come on, I know you can do it, Corvo. I done it before. Oh, come on. Why is this so hard? Why is this so hard? Jesus Christ. Rest in, in peace. Not that you're dead, but, you know, you get the uh, the sentiment, I think. I do kind of, like, what is down here? Some kind of... Oh, have I been down here? Yeah, this is the kitchen. Okay. All right. That's fine. Did I... Can I take this tool? I don't think so. Yeah, I tried that before. And yeah, I'm full on those. So, back upstairs we go. There's the plate from when I uh, kind of botched my... Ambush <laughs> a little bit. All right. So that has been shut off now, which is good. I'm also going to swing through here and just turn that off. So we got a guard uh. there coming up the stairs, it looks like. What I would like to do... <coughs> he's swing right around like this so I can get behind him. Didn't really need to blink for that. It didn't really work out the way that I'd hoped it would. But, uh, nonetheless, uh, mission pretty much accomplished here. And then I'm going to go right over here. And drop you right up here as well. So you can hang out with your friends. Okay. They're going to be very confused when they wake up. <laughs> Okay, we got another guard over there. And two to three more there, jeez. Huh? Report. I have men at all entry points and guarding the safe room on the roof. No one can get past our defense system. Good. I'm heading up huh? to the region's chambers. Make sure you keep this area secure. Yeah, is he coming? Coming this way? No? Doesn't seem like it, Maybe unfortunately. Yeah. Definitely you saw the wind. That's what you saw. Over here. <coughs> I'm gonna assume they can huh? probably see me through this window, huh? <laughs> probably rats. Nobody's making there. rounds over here. Well, they're noticing that some guards are missing. That's <coughs> something. To their credit, I guess. With that guy there, there's no way I'm getting past him. 
So, I'm going to come down here instead and see if I can clean up maybe some of these guys. They are down this way. There's at least a one there. I'm not sure if there are going to be any others, though. Seems like I might actually be in the clear. I got very lucky to be able to snag him. That was some forgiving, uh, <laughs> forgiving uh, controls, I guess, or positioning from the game there. Um, let's wait for that to recharge. I'm probably fine here for a sec. Yeah, we got a little. Uh, closet here. I think I'll go ahead and just leave you. Uh, well, I was going to leave you there. Oh, I appear to be stuck. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, let's take this. Here we go. I'll put you down there. That's probably fine. Couple whale oil dealies and uh, some busts of the uh, Lord Regent here. He's a uh, at least he's a, uh, a humble man. With that one hand poking out, hopefully <laughs> hopefully that doesn't get spotted by somebody randomly walking in here. Now I think... Oh, he's right there, is he? I could just like blink right up there, I bet. Still haven't found a non-lethal way to deal with him yet. Um, which is a little... Kind of disappointing. Uh, cause, uh, the non-lethal ways of dealing with people have been pretty entertaining so far. But I might just have to kill his ass, uh, at this, uh, at this rate. Did I, I mean, tell you about the time I almost caught that guy who killed the Empress? <laughs> did you, did you now? now? Did you now? Okay, we got one guy there. We got this guy here. <coughs> Huh? Oh, that's bad. Uh, let's do sleep dart. Got you now. No. I know you're here. I need more men. Firing. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Okay. Um. Hmm. <laughs> this is one way to do this, I guess. Oh, there we go. And then one crossbow bolt for you. Did I sound the alarm? I have no idea. I don't think so. <laughs> kind of brute forced that one a little bit. But uh, I got it done. I didn't think, I'd think that guy would be able to see me if I was... Oh, no, I guess that makes sense. I didn't quite go far enough. I should have waited and come around this way for the other guy. But, uh... Oh, well. Too, uh, too late now. Guess I'm gonna hmm, drop these guys in here. I don't know if there's anything I can do about the dog's body so much. I must be awfully low on uh, resources as well, which is kind of bad. Okay. Could have sworn there was more than three guys out here, but uh, okay. Probably should have dropped people in this one, actually. Would have been, uh. Would have been better. All 
buy. Can I grab this? I can, actually. How about that? I was not expecting to be able to do that. Okay. Moving right along here. Got some kind of something here that I'm going to grab, I think. If I can, oh, I'm going to have to probably break that window. Yeah. Maybe in a minute here. Not really anything too terribly useful going on in here. Got a dog. Um mind before it becomes fractious and divided. Can two enemies occupy the same body? No, for the first will direct it one way and the second another until they stumble into a ditch. Likewise, two contrary thoughts cannot long abide in a man's mind, or he will become weak-willed and subject to any heresy. Restrict the lying tongue that is like a spark in a man's mouth. It is such a little thing, yet from one spark, an entire city may burn to the ground. The father of a lie will suffer a punishment compounded by each person related. Restrict roving feet that love to trespass. They pay no heed to the boundary stones of other men's fields. They wander into foreign lands only to return with their souls blackened by iniquity. Wonderful speech. Go ahead and just drop him right there, I think. With his dog. And then we'll take that and we'll take that. And uh, influence of the outsider. Uh, brother, with an anxious heart, I respond to your letter. If your suspicion is true, I have grave misgivings about those presiding over Dunwall Tower. I've only recently resolved my disagreements with the Abbey, and it has come upon me as a surprise that they are lobbying for me to take up the mantle of High Overseer. Uh, but despite all that is going on, I hope to advise you personally in this matter. Last time you wrote, uh, you speculated that the mute who serves as a... As torturer within Dunwall Tower might be a follower of the Outsider. Uh, he has an odd countenance, his tongue is twisted, and he cannot speak. Uh, and a wolfhound follows him about. Add to this the incomprehensible groaning and the litany of repeated whispers you hear coming from his chambers at night. And it seems certain first. Uh, I found it hard to believe. How could one I admire so, so such as <laughs> Lord Regent, allow this to go unchecked within his own house? Surely he must respect the seven strictures. Uh, but now... I see the pieces arranged before me. I must tell you it aligns with a vision experienced by one of our sisters from the oracular sect. Uh, coming to me in the night, she spoke. Silence inflicts pain on a hound's shadow. No, silence inflicts pain and a hound's shadow follows the puppet of the outsider. Your position at the tower has been of great use to our order. And there's no shame in reporting back to me. You are an overseer first and foremost, and it is your sole duty to protect the world of men from the malevolent influences of the outsider. Tell no others of this and await my instructions. I must wonder, um, I must wonder how high up in Don Maltower's corruption is spread. Martin. Maybe I shouldn't have killed him, but I did, so. Too late now. Already read that in, uh, one form or another, I believe. Oh, at least the church is well stocked. Couldn't, uh, couldn't, couldn't read the, the scripture without uh, grenades nearby, of course. I do wonder if I could have handled the... Well, I'm sure that there's... A, not sure. I have a good feeling there's probably a way to handle the uh, torture a little differently. And uh, the choice that I made may come back to bite me in the ass at some point. Because Granny did seem to, seem to be quite taken with him. And uh, she seems to still be around. 
Starting at the end, uh, the edge of Dunwall, the Academy of Natural Philosophy is an ancient educational institute bustling with young students and old philosophers, alchemists, cosmologists, and vivisectionists. The best minds from across the aisles gather there to study all of nature, including the human corpus, the celestial heavens, and the physical universe. No one is allowed inside except esteemed members and the few students accepted each year. After a long and arduous application process, those living nearby can only puzzle at the exotic shipments seen coming from the river and passing through the back doors or wrinkle their noses at the odd smells that emerge from the smokestacks atop. Royal physician Anton Sokolov is currently the head of of the Academy. Well, we happen to know a guy named Anton Sokolov. He's a little indisposed at the moment. I think I've read that before. Oh, apparently not. Northernmost among the Alps, Tiberia is dominated by snarling mountain ranges that rise up from frozen plains. Travel between cities involves arduous treks through territory thickly infested with terrible bears and packs of hounds adapted to the climate. Despite these conditions, Tibian aren't Architecture, food, and fashion are ornate and complex, marked by an intricate refinement that perhaps arose as a counterpoint to the cold, harsh land itself. While the people in the lower city of Caltaine share much with their nearest neighbors and morally, most Tibians are a breed apart, shaped by generations of life in the inhospitable cold. Austere and regal, Tibians are proud of their customs, food, and history, and have little concern for the Isles of the South. Alright, where's this guard at? There's the Lord Regent still. Uh, there's the guard. He's a fair ways above me, though, so I don't know that I have to worry about him just yet. I've been there... Went around through here, back through here, but I don't think I've been through here yet. So let's take a look at this real quick. Hmm. Another bathroom. Or is it the same bathroom that I've seen before? I don't know. Tales for children. Apparently I've seen that before. Yeah, I think I've seen this. Okay, yeah, this is that hallway. Gotcha. Alright, well, making my way through here slowly but surely. At this point, I really... Well, I'd like to bash these open, but I don't want to alert anybody who might be upstairs here. Um, yeah, i got to find a way to shut that off so I can get to him. And I still need to deal with the broadcast control station as well. Uh... Well, let's deal with that guard up there, so... A little bit left to go yet. 